Hello my friends, this is Austrian Stacker. I hope you're all doing very well and I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're safe and healthy. So let's start with today's video. Today's video is about fakes. No, actually it's not about fakes, it's about how to test your coins. Um, I want to start, uh, first of all, with a big fat thank you to Karsten Hunt Silva, my friend from, you know, it's the Hello YouTube, regards from Germany guy. <laughs> my friend Karsten Hunt Silva, uh, who actually organized uh, a group order for the European community for this awesome magnetic slides. So, and now I'm coming to the shout out. Check out this awesome channel called Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Um, this guy built, if I remember correctly, he told me like 1400, uh, of these things. This is the, I already scratched it, <laughs> CCT, bin for 2000, no, CCT silver slide. And as you can see, this is really high quality. This is not just a cheap version of a silver slide. This is the this is the Ferrari of silver slides and it's really worth every euro we paid for this and this is a must have for every stacker. Why? Because silver has very interesting um, magnetic uh, uh, properties and 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 reacts uh, very funny uh, on magnetic fields and this is why this is one of the best methods to test silver but you need to take care about a few things uh, but I will talk about this a bit later so Actually, what do you need to, to test your coins? Um, I usually do three different kinds of tests. The first one is, well, let's take them. The first one is what's usually called ping test in the community. You take two silver coins And silver makes a very, very clear and high tone. Yeah, this was not test number two. <laughs> this was just an accident on the set. I hope you can hear it. So this is test number one, a so-called ping test. And every silver stacker should know how Genuine silver coins sound. The same you can do with silver coins uh, with less uh, silver content. For example, Maria Theresa Talas have 83.3% silver content. And have, have uh, here, listen to, to, to the sound. This is how silver should sound. A very high tone and this is how silver should not sound. Can you hear the difference? A completely different tone. And now completely different. But I will talk about this coin a bit later. So this is test number one that already indicates you uh, if something is wrong with your coins, then I always continue with test number two. And here I use this awesome, how do you call it? I think you call it magnet slide, right? Silver slide. Okay. Again, CCT is for Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Check out his channel if you want one of these 
look at this i mean this is this is really this is high quality i love it so what to do with this silver uh, slide silver has uh very interesting uh magnetic properties and and the magnetic reaction in in a magnet field because it slows down but it doesn't stick to a magnet and this is already a good test if you want to check whether your coins are genuine or fakes let's take another coin Oh, they are directly from Austrian Mint, yeah. So if something is wrong with these coins, <laughs> I hope everybody sees it. Ah, this one is genuine. This two, this two, this two, this two. But also this test doesn't give you a 100% guarantee. By the way, uh, Milk spots are also a great test, yeah. So you know at least the surface is real silver. <laughs> but also, also the, the slide test doesn't give you a 100% guarantee that your coins are genuine because take care, copper, this is one ounce of copper, has very, very similar properties uh, like silver. Check this out. So just because a coin slows down on a uh, magnetic slide, on a magnet slide, it doesn't automatically mean that it's really silver, yeah? It can also be uh, silver plated. And this is what people faking such coins uh, like to do, that they take copper because it's much cheaper than silver and then they just plate it and then you would have exactly the same behavior in a magnetic field like with silver. So also this test, it's a very good indication, but again, it's not a 100% guarantee. But if this happens, then you already have a 100% guarantee that the coin is fake. Oh, just to demonstrate, just to demonstrate the difference, yeah. This is a silver coin. And take care, take care. It's, it's really hard to see the difference, yeah. I'll show you again. And now you really have to watch it carefully. This is a fake coin. So 100% clear. This is a fake. Um, I'm not surprised that there are fakes around, but I'm surprised that I haven't been able to identify the fake because I think I know a lot about Maria Theresa Tallas and I have not been able to identify the fake. Why? I'll show you. Have a look at the details. And you need to know that there are differences if you compare Maria Theresa Talas, because as of 1780, the, the year when Maria Theresa died, all minted Maria Theresa Talas were dated 1780. Yeah? So you don't know whether the coin is from 1780, 1781, 1900, 1800, or 2020. And so there are differences because this coin has been minted all over the world. And what was always the best indication, this small details here, with the tail feathers of the eagle. But look at this, that all these details are here on the fake Tala. And also, the second thing is the dots on the rim here, they're also here. 
but also if these dots are missing it's not it doesn't automatically say that the, the coin is a fake because some of them are heavily worn this is also why the weight differs and this coin looks really genuine because th th they made it look like like worn yeah so also you have here all these small dots uh in the halo of the two eagles so there is nothing definitely nothing miss missing all the details are there and also another thing uh we usually can easily uh find the uh, fakes are these small details here you can see one two three four five and here one two three four five and usually these are missing or these dots around the brochure are missing but all of this is here on the fake coin and if you have a look at it it's really good fake and cannot be silver <laughs> So, test number one, the ping test. Test number two, the magnetic slide. Again, check out Cyber Curtain Twitcher. He makes these awesome magnetic slides. So, what to do if a coin passes test one and test two? We go to test three, and this is using a scale. The first thing you have to take care about using a scale is exactly this here. You have grams, you have ounces, you have troy ounces and so on and so on and so on. So So what is my scale doing? So now you can see I put it on try ounces. So let's take silver philharmonics. Um, silver, copper, and, and other metals uh, have different uh, densities. And this is why you should, uh, you can also, you can also use the measurement to get uh, together with the weight to get an, an, a good indication uh, whether a coin is, is genuine or, or a fake. So let's put them on a scale. It says 1.005. One point zero zero nine, one point zero zero five, one point zero zero three, one point zero zero three. So now it's getting a bit more tricky, and there are tables on the internet. Uh, about the weight of Mary Teresa Talas, but as I said, a lot of these coins are about, I don't know, 100, 200 years old. And that's why the weight can differ, because some of them are heavily worn and then usually they are a bit lighter. But they should have 0 0.9 ounces, as you can see here. So the next one, 0 0.9 ounces. 0 0.9 yeah, this is exactly what I meant yeah? 0 0.898 0 0.9 exactly Oops. 0 0.903 0 0.9 and now let's take the fake Maria Teresa Teller Can I see it? So 
I mean, it already failed at the magnet test, yeah, on the magnet slide. But latest here, you know, something is wrong with this coin. I mean, as I said, it's okay that there is a bit of a difference uh, because of the different years of mintage, the different mints, and the fact that a lot of these coins are very old. But this is too much difference and latest now you should know that something is wrong with this coin because the weight simply is not correct so this is how i personally uh and by the way this is also something Uh, you should always check ah, this one. whether it's a troy ounce or an ounce because there is a difference and this is not a troy ounce <laughs> so But coming back uh, to the free tests, yeah? what I always do is first the ping test. Take coins like uh, Maple Leafs, Philharmonics, uh, American Silver Eagles, whatever. So coin uh, of, of which you know that they are genuine and make the ping test to get used to this, to this specific uh, tone of silver coins. Uh, the second test is the magnet slide. As you can see, this is not what, what silver usually does. <laughs> the third test is put the coins on a scale. And the fourth test is, unfortunately, uh, I don't have all of my equipment here. Uh, you can also measure the dimensions of the coin because all the mints have uh, all the details on their home pages and you can find, uh, you can find it there. And if, if there are, if there are uh, significant differences, then yeah, you, you, can be, you can be almost sure that, that your coin is fake. So I hope this was useful. Uh, one of my, uh, of my friends supporting me asked for doing such a video. I hope this 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 uh yeah was useful and 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 helpful for you and please tell me in the comments below how you test uh your coins uh how you uh make sure that you don't have fakes i'm always doing this before i send out coins uh for trades so for example if i trade with one of you i don't know a maria Teresa tyler or a, a philharmonic or whatever i always do these tests except for, for these sealed uh, uh, tubes I got from, from the mint directly. But with single coins, I always do this test. And before I send out uh, uh, Maria Teresa Tala, for example, I always test them. So please tell me in the comments below uh, what you think, how you test your coins. Um, I'm happy about discussions, about good discussions, so please tell me, uh, maybe you know a way to test your coins I didn't mention or I don't know. <laughs> so I'm always happy to learn. And please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Please also support the other EU stackers, hashtag EU stackers. And please take care, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands and see you next time. Servus! And go and check out this channel, Cyber Curtain Twitcher.